Hey yo viewers, this is Manny. I'm back again with another tutorials, which is going to be fairly simple, like as usual. And this time it's going to be on Huawei P8 model number GRA dash L09 battery replacement. And without wasting time, I'm just going to go straight to work. First of all, as you can see, this is the back of the phone. As you can see, and that was the front before. And what I'm going to do first to make things easy is just, can you see this side, the side of the phone has got uh, this, uh, the SD card uh, tray and then it's got the SIM card tray as well. So I am going to take both out like that with a paper pen, paper clip. And then I'll take them out, put them aside. There we go. And it's done. And I will turn the bottom of the phone so you can see it properly. Uh, it's not focusing, is it? Let's see. Yeah, can you see it now? It's got two screws at the bottom of the phone, which is T2 Torx screwdriver. And that is going to be removed as soon as possible. Now, as you can see, there we go. The focus is better now. Okay. That is gone. Set it aside. And this one is gone as well. Set it aside somewhere so I don't lose them. Okay. Now, with this particular screen, the customer has cracked the bottom of the screen already. So I've got to be extremely careful not to buy a new screen for, uh, for the customer. And now you have to lift the screen up <coughs> to get to the, bot uh, to the battery. So you need a very, very thin and flat uh what is it called um like something like a card i mean it, it could be business card but something flat and flexible at the same time so you don't break the screen so i'm going to stick that at the corner of the screen try and pry around that area it's not easy so you have to be gentle with it as you can see i think the camera is shaking a bit sorry guys so you wedge it in a bit and gives you that leverage so you can pry around the whole screen try to make some space so you can easily take it out as we can see if you can see now I'll try and use if you can see I'll try and use my nails yeah can we see now there's a big opening there which is great and then you take it out nice and gentle as you can see this is the whole inside there uh, I'll set the housing aside and you can see now all right first of all this is the battery connector which for some reason is already dis disconnected maybe as i was taking it out for some reason so that's the best thing to do you disconnect the battery to avoid any electricity going through whilst you're working on it now, obviously it's the battery that i'm going to change anyway so 
but be mindful of uh, not disconnecting it quickly as possible so what I'm going to do now is try and take the battery out but first of all there are camera clips on top of uh, on the corner of the battery which makes it difficult to actually take it off so you have to unclip those clips first to give you free access so you can remove the battery without any problems so one gone second one gone you have to be gentle with these things because they are very 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 delicate and you don't want to buy a new phone for another person so you have to be careful guys i've done this several times and it's painful when you make a mistake so you try and avoid every pitfall right guys with that wasting time the battery itself has got an, a, a glue or strong adhesive underneath it but this it's been changed before so the glue underneath it's not like the uh, industrial one that was used previously or originally so it's easy to actually take it apart so what you do is actually put <coughs> I, I recommend you don't use metal sp uh, 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 spedger like i am doing that's bad okay so you use uh, what is it called plastic spedger on the sides uh, but sometimes it's very hard isn't it because of the adhesive put it there yeah like I said it's a bit easy because yeah there we go and if you're finding it difficult if it is very new or it has not been replaced before what you do is we've got all the chemicals I mean you can use alcohol or alcohol which mine is the high effective ochre removal if you can see this uh, if you want any information on this just give me a comment below and I'll tell you where to get that high effective ochre removal uh, remover so what you do is you spray a bit underneath the battery to soften the adhesive to remove it but obviously I've got mine done already so I will take this out gently and nicely like that okay and I'll set this battery aside as you can see it's, uh, doesn't look good so that's why the customer wants this changed and this is the new one as you can see any for if you want any information once again about how and where to get these batteries just give me a comment below and i'll respond promptly as usual so this is it and that's the back of it as well so without wasting time there's a little bit of what adhesive there which is nice and you don't want to put strong adhesive there when it comes back again for you to remove it just in case you want to replace another battery you don't want to make things so difficult for yourself so this particular glue is sticky enough to hold this battery in so i'm going to put that battery in back put it at an angle to avoid breaking anything and then move this particular uh what is it called um coaxial uh, cable that's the uh, layman stem that's the signal cable so i'll put it there and give it a bit of what pressure so that it can stick to the back or the screen uh, the screen of the phone okay so this is it and then i will put the clips back where they belong these two clips and to do that you have to be very gentle you want to do that before you put the battery on to avoid 
shorten the battery uh, the, the motherboard This is proving very stubborn. There we go. Sits in nicely. And the second one goes in easily. The second one was a good one. Went in easier. Not stubborn as uh, myself. And then now, the last thing to put back in is the battery. There we go. Battery sits in nice and tidy, flush. Okay, now we are back. The housing, as you can see, see it, ready. Pick the housing up. And the first thing to do is to make sure. The first bit to go in to make it easy for you or for myself. Is the front of the phone where the uh, cameras are that's where it goes in first like that and then press it gently inside and then goes in nice and tidy without any problems so now it's up to me to put the screws back at the button Okay. Sorry guys. Phone problems. Yeah. Okay, got it. Screw it back in. Nice and tidy. And then this one. there we go it's in there then nicely screw it back in and voila job done very simple but it requires a lot of concentration not to make any mistakes and don't forget to put your uh sim card tray and the sim card in there we go press it back in and then lastly the sd card tray bank so let's see let's go and ask if the phone is working or the battery is good we could have tried that before putting everything together but i believe already that the battery is good it's new it's been charged so i will push the button as the button push it on to see ah there we go voila she is smiling i'm quite happy fantastic guys if you love this video and you think it's giving you any form of help please don't forget to give us a thumbs up next time when we have new videos up you get the first war glimpse of it guys thank you very much for viewing and don't forget to share and like i said your thumbs up it's very important subscription it's massive thank you guys thank you